Recently my wife gave a try to epoxy resin art and she asked me if I have any idea how to take care of the bubbles in it. Well, this is a chance to do a little side project during this huge period of working on my CNC Life project. And that's why I'm showing you this cheap vacuum pump for brake bleeding. This is a really cheap tool, but I saw some similar builds on the internet, so we decided to give it a try. This pump generates vacuum, so it should be able to bleed air out of epoxy. Using ZW3D CAD, I made a quick design of the vacuum chamber. I extruded a box and I made a 1mm thick shell which will be made out of steel. The next part is an o-ring with a 121mm inside diameter which will be 3D printed out of TPU. Later on is the cover out of plexiglass with 6 5mm holes. And the last one is the flange of the steel box which will be used for bolting down the cover on the top. It has a 5mm wide groove for seating the o-ring. Finally everything will be assembled and connected with thumb screws. That's the plan for today. I bought some steel material and the fun part started for me. Plexiglass, already with the right dimensions. Here are the drawings and we are ready to go. In order to make the box, I cut the steel sheet to size and grinded the surface. The next step was stick welding the whole thing. Here is a steel slot bar which will be the stock for the box flange. I'm using here my home converted CNC mill, but don't worry, this could be done with a hole saw, some drill bits and I guess the groove isn't that important and it should work without it.
I'm taking the burrs off and making the surface more pressure resistant. And now the cover. I'm using the holes from the flange as a template to make the holes match perfectly. I think threading is one of my favorite operations, especially when I don't break any tab. The flange has to be welded to the box. And in the meantime the 3D printer takes care of the seal. It is printed out of TPU, which is a little bit stiff for a ceiling, but I heard that people are being successful using it for seals. Let's perform a test fit of the parts. It seems that the seal shrinked a little bit during printing, but it should work. One of the last things to do is to mount the hose connector and use the epoxy to seal it airtight. The vacuum chamber is ready for the tests, fingers crossed. The pressure is lowering a bit, but when I was trying it on my finger, the pump didn't keep that pressure at a constant value as well. Did it work? Well, I have no clue, but it seems it bleeded some air out of it. If you have some tips or tricks with epoxy for my wife, feel free to post some comments down below. And if you made this far, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.